Back here on the post game as the Centurions win this one in five sets. They move on to the state championship match, trying to win their third ever state title. Head coach in her third year, Aaron Salas, now joins. First off, congrats. This had to be an incredible roller coaster of emotions. I would imagine you were pretty happy after the first two sets. But after that fourth set, it certainly seemed like all the momentum was on the other side. So how did your team come back and win that fifth set? Oh, well, uh, we pulled them over to the side, and we've been saying this all year. Um, this is the last hurrah for a lot of them. Um, and we play point by point, set by set. And we just talked about resetting, getting our momentum back getting the girls um, on the bench into the game and getting them hyped up on the court. And that's what they did. They went point by point. So I know this means a lot for obviously the players, but for you as well, because you knew a lot of these players going back to their middle school days, correct? That's so uh, what is it like when you've been so closely connected with so many young ladies, seeing them from you know maybe the time that they were 12 or 13 years old, now knowing how much this means to them, what does it mean to you? It means a ton to me. Um, like I said many times, this senior class is a, holds a special place in my heart. Um, they convinced me to even apply for the high school position when they were freshmen. Um, and I went in as the assistant, and you know, watching them grow over the years has been amazing. Um, it, it's just been great to watch, and I know like my kids have grown up watching this. In fact, my oldest is here tonight. She's a freshman this year. Um, so. Just the interaction and how excited she was and how excited I am to watch them. It's been an amazing journey with them. So two times in the regular season, the Commodores got the better of your team. I would imagine that you would gladly take the two victories in the postseason. But when you see a team a third and now a fourth time, how difficult is that? And how much did you have to change from what you did in the regular season against them? Oh, it's absolutely a change. Um, the regular season, um, we did a little things a little bit differently. Um, we had a different rotation, um, different hitters, different setters in at certain times. Um, and coming into playoffs, we made a decision um, that we were going to uh, hone things in. And especially when we knew that we had played Eden Christian three times. Um, our third time was in the uh, semifinal game in Whippeals. So after that second game against them and the second game against Frazier, we decided we needed to change something coming into playoffs. And so we did. We made um, some adjustments after the second round of Whippeals, and it really has paid off for us. So now you move on to a state championship, and GCC has twice won the PIAAs, 2014 and 2016. Both of these years, by the way, they were also WPIL champions. So I'm sure you're looking to make it a third to capture both titles in the same year. Just that moment, though, getting to the state championship, how much are you going to embrace what that means and that special opportunity to, to make that trek up on Saturday? Oh, it's been – I will absolutely embrace it. Um, our goal was to win Whippeals, and they just decided that we were going to keep going. <laughs> so it's been an awesome journey. Um, what I said tonight when we walked in here was, I'm not done. I want one more. And they pulled it out. I'm guessing you were pretty busy uh, in the post game, but did you hear who won between Faith Christian and Linvale Hall? Or, I have excuse not me, yet. Linville Hill? <laughs> yeah, that one was a 5 o'clock start, so it should already be over, but I guess at this point you're not worried about that. You'll enjoy this one for the rest of the night before you turn focus. Lastly, uh, what makes this year's team so special? Um, honestly, the juniors and the seniors really came in. Um, they've been playing Ooh, for three years together now um, as a group, and they have a real special bond with each other. Um, most of them are pretty good friends, and that, I think, is what works with them. So, Well, it certainly worked tonight. Congrats. <laughs> Go enjoy this one, and uh, good you. luck heading into the state championship.